Live. Alright matey peeps, how's it going? So this is just a very quick tutorial to show you how you can get the Sega Rally Revo tracks working if you're playing the arcade version of Sega Rally 3 using Techno Parrot. It's not especially hard to do, but I thought it would be easier just to do it with a video tutorial rather than trying to describe it in another one of my video's descriptions. The assumption in this video is that you do already know what you're doing with Techno Parrot and I've got a copy of Sega Rally 3 and also a copy of Sega Rally Revo on the PC in order to actually get the tracks to put into it. So if you are looking for a video about how to get Sega Rally 3 running on Techno Parrot in the first place, then I'm afraid this is not the one for you, my friend. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is to make a copy of your Sega Rally 3 folder which contains all the game's information. I've already made one copy of it, so this is me now making a copy of that copy. Make yourself a new folder, and then put all that information inside the folder. Call it whatever you want, but I just think it's easier just to keep it simple, so I'm going to call it Sega Rally 3 Copy 2. So whilst that information is copying across, let's now navigate to our Sega Rally Revo folder to find the tracks that we want to use. So when you open up your Sega Rally Revo folder, what you want to do is open the folder called App, not the one embedded like I did there by mistake first of all. And then navigate to Main Release and Tracks. Now this is the folder where all the graphical information for Sega Rally Revo's different stages is stored, handily all named. Now there's a folder by the same name inside the Sega Rally 3 game folder, which will appear in the same subdirectory location, so main release and then tracks. My tracks folder hasn't generated yet because the game is still copying across. When it has finished copying across, it'll contain the information for the four tracks from Sega Rally 3, and all we have to do in order to get a Sega Rally Revo track working in Sega Rally 3 is to swap the track information across. But we need to rename the files that we're swapping across from Sega Rally Revo so that they match the files that are in the Sega Rally 3 folder. So here we can see the original Sega Rally 3 folder, which has got the information for the existing four stages in it. So let's navigate now back to the Revo folder with the information for the tracks in there. So just to make life easy in this first example, I'm going to swap out a tropical track from Revo with a tropical track from Sega Rally 3. Now I like to make a new folder to copy the tracks across into, just so that I can still then use the old tracks as a reference as to how these new tracks are supposed to look. To be honest though, it really isn't rocket science, particularly when we're doing a like for like swap like this. So in this case with the tropical track, all we have to do is change those twos to a four to match the original Sega Rally 3 tracks. Once you've finished renaming them, you are good to go. Simply delete all the tracks from your original tropical folder and replace them with these ones. And that really is all there is to it. When you go to play the game, you will now find that your tropical track has been replaced with the tropical track from Sega Rally Revo that you chose. Right. 
Don't forget, of course, to change the location that Techno Parrot's looking for the Sega Rally 3 EXC to the copy of the game folder that he made. Now you don't have to restrict yourself to like for like swaps, so what we're going to do here is swap out one of the Arctic tracks from Sega Rally Revo, and we're going to use that to replace the Alpine track from Sega Rally 3. Now the thing that we just need to remember here is that the structure of these files needs to match the structure of the files from Sega Rally 3, and this is why I like to put those Revo tracks in the new folder, so that I can then just copy and paste part of the track name from the original track into the file for the Revo track. And when I talked about keeping the structure of the files the same there, literally all that means is that for the files that are called Arc Track Route 2, you rename them Alp Track Route 4. For the files that are called Arctic 2, you simply change them to Alpine 4. Simples. Once again, once you've finished doing this, simply delete the original contents of your Alpine track folder and then cut and paste the new files that you made into it. Then, once again, when you start the game, simply select the Alpine course and you should find a lovely brand spanking new Arctic track waiting for you in its place. Now this track swapping out technique seems to have worked for me so far about 95% of the time. Weirdly enough, the very first time I tried to get this working, swapping out Sega Rally 3's tropical track for one of the first Safari tracks in Revo, the game loaded up the track ok, but as soon as the countdown had finished none of the game's controls would work. That was the one and only time that I've had this problem, and I have since actually managed to successfully swap that Safari track with the classic track in Sega Rally 3 and it worked absolutely fine. Speaking of the classic track, here you can see where I've swapped it out for another one of the Arctic tracks. These Arctic tracks are bloody difficult though, I'm finding it really difficult just to try and stay on the track straight. I've had a couple of other tracks, as in literally about two, that when swapped out caused the game to crash. I've also had one instance where a track loaded ok, but when it loaded there was no background music and some of the sound effects were also missing. Now as well as being able to play around with putting different combinations of the Revo tracks into Sega Rally 3, you can also have a play around with the Sega Rally 3 tracks themselves. So here I've substituted the Canyon track for the stadium that features the winner's podium when you complete the game. Each lap lasts about 15 seconds and you just go around in a circle the whole time. Next up, I've substituted the Tropical track for the Desert 95 track that you can normally only play in the Classic Race. With the benefit being here that it means you can have a proper six car race with all the modern vehicles as opposed to the two car race that you're normally restricted to on the classic track using the old school original Sega Rally cars, the Toyota Celica and the Lancia Delta. So anyway that is how you go about swapping Sega Rally Revo tracks into Sega Rally 3. As it stands at the moment I've now made about five different copies of the game each of which has got a different track layout which I swap back and forth between in Techno Parrot. Now one last thing just to mention is because the Revo tracks weren't ever designed to work with Sega Rally 3 like this, the default time limit for the original Sega Rally 3 stage might not actually be enough for you to complete the stage, and I've had times driving through stages where you'll suddenly get a time extension for what seems to be an invisible checkpoint. Another bit of odd timer behaviour that I've noticed is when you go through a checkpoint, the game doesn't give you a time extension. 
and I'm going to finish up the video now with one of those racers. So anyway, I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, don't forget to spread that good karma by hitting the like button, sharing and subscribing. My name is Mr Thunderwing, I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye bye!